It's your boy T Money with another lit lit live reaction, man. We reacting to the whole gunner the case what's going on seasons of West happened um lately. So he's gonna Today get right we into saw it. Jeffrey Williams, also known as Young Thug, appear before a judge Young for Thug the first time since his arrest slime. earlier this year. He's one of more than two dozen people got, accused got of his hair done out there. I know who did his hair, yo. Fulton County District Attorney Fani Willis. In that joint, in Today that in court, joint the judge ruled a cell phone, which supposedly contained evidence pertaining to this case, will not be admissible in his upcoming trial. The court hearing came less than 24 yeah, hours after gonna another Atlanta release. rapper, Gunna, took a plea deal and it's walked out of the Fulton County Jail. Coming up later, how Young Thug's rap lyrics could be used against Hops him. Gang activity. Jeffrey Williams, better known as Young Thug, is appearing in person before a judge for the first time since being arrested earlier this year. Williams is accused Man, it's looking of good. I was seeing some of the clips um, uh, of, of court, court and it was looking like what can you tell us the... The judge was trying to like say a lot of that evidence that they um, collected in that ray when they did is like they're not going to be able to use that. So that was in that joint smiling, thinking like he might be able to get about it there, bro. I mean, Thug, the gunner just did, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he snitched or not, but it's looking pretty good for for King Slime right now. Hey, good evening, Ron. Jennifer, first off, this hearing was delayed nearly five hours due to technical issues across Fulton County. And then there was a change in courtrooms. Eventually, we did get a glimpse of Jeffrey Williams, a man known as Young Thug, entering the courtroom with confidence, Young even thug smiling at there. dozens of his friends and family there in support as he walked in. Williams is one of 28 people accused of gang-related charges handed down by Fulton District Attorney Fani Willis. One of the defendants, Sergio Kitchens, also known as Gunna, Fani was Willis released from jail with yesterday boys, boy. after striking a plea deal. Walter Murphy, believed to be a co-founder of Young Slime Life, also pleaded guilty. Williams, meantime, is facing eight charges himself. Today in court, the judge weighed whether to admit certain evidence the defense called inadmissible because they believe police did not obtain a valid search or arrest warrant. The prosecution saying, meantime, the no, evidence they should it. be admitted because of Williams. You know they did it dirty, man. They came in that joint, busted up in there, took the money, took the guns, cut the drugs, and they didn't tell, you can't tell me they ain't had no search warrant. So all that all that all that evidence is not going to be able to be used in court, man. Y'all know that, right? Like a lot of this stuff and you don't know Gunna already might be working with him, but he's out. Got thug. He trying to get about it that thing too, man. It's looking good. Williams prior arrest back in 2017 on marijuana charges. The judge found that the entry was unlawful. We don't get to do it again. And Mr. Williams then tried for a year and a, a year to get back his property. And what did the police do? Damn, has he been in there for a year already? Yo, has it been a year already, chat? That's crazy. Leaving the chat. Man, if you think, one, if you think, gonna snitch. Two, damn, if, if you think thugs coming home. They tell him, it's the evidence. We're not giving it to you. We're not talking about a second bite of the apple here. We're talking about him now. All right, Joe, thanks for that update. Man, uh, there you have it right there, man. King Slime may be coming home, man. A lot of that evidence is about to be admissible. You know, they're not about to be able to use it. They did not have a valid reason to get on his premises take all the stuff he did they was even i was watching some of the court case he said he was trying to ask for that stuff back he going so hard he want his shit he said he want his money his drugs everything he want that back man trial evidence trial evidence that clear you could have done that 17 30 is distinguishable because it's like the, the legislature seemed to indicate, well, we don't want the state to go ahead and continue to keep investigating an individual. This judge right here, that's trying to free uh, Big Slime out here, man. No, no cap, yo. Based on evidence that 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 that, that, that a court has suppressed, so 
Your Honor. That's, that's kind of the, where I am. Your Honor, um, if I may, the distinction is that there was a good faith basis for obtaining the search warrant and for getting the search warrant. Nah. A search warrant affidavit. Hey. Hey, judge, hey, judge, judge Joe Slime out here. I see a comment said, Judge Joe Slime. Out here. He about to say, Nah, bitch, nah, you already know. Hey, I think Gunna just hit him off with a bag. I think Thug hit him off with a bag, and he about they about to float up out of here, bruh. For the home itself was sworn out. There was, in fact, an arrest warrant that did exist, it was lawful. The fact that there was not one presented in the 16 SC case is what, yes, caused Judge Newkirk to suppress the evidence as to that case, Your Honor. Okay, and why didn't you return the why didn't you return the other stuff to Mr. Wynn? You would yeah. have to return the contraband. Everybody's clear he about that. Hey, Judge Joe Sly said you gotta return that contraband. He a the, hey, Thugger said, I need that. That we, contraband or weapons would not have been not have been returned returnable to Mr. Williams. We but had. Why we, didn't you respond? Why look, didn't you return that bitch? Uh, look, she can't even talk. Right now. Other stuff. We had actually sought the search warrant, Your Honor, and I think that the court can look at the dates on the search warrant, on the arrest warrants, and see that we had actually already... Suppressible at that point in time and free the poison. Yo, they out here trying to free King Slime out here. ...in May. He's one of more than two dozen people arrested as part of a sweeping gang indictment. And Channel 2's Michael Seiden is live right now in downtown Atlanta. Hey, they gonna already... Gunner's already home. A lot of allegations is if he's snitching or not, I don't know. And in Michael, a large crowd came out this morning to show support for Young Thug, but there was also a major delay, right? Yeah, Fred, in fact, in the last 10 minutes, I came down from that courtroom. We still have not gone, gone underway here. That is because the judge says there are technical issues, which has caused them to delay this hearing. We believe they will resume. They, they trying to lay that thing back, man. Who tried, who you think tried to lay that shit back, man? They get, they pull pay somebody off. This afternoon, but in the meantime, I want to show you. Take a look at this. This is young. Look, Doug, he came in that thing smiling and got his hair done. I want to know who who twisted my man hair up in that thing, bro. He got the fresh parts and stuff. His lawyer Brian Steele is hoping to not only get him a bond, but he's also hoping to argue several motions. About to be home, suited and booted. Two dozen defendants named in a sweeping gang indictment. He's accused of being one of the founders of Young Slime Life (YSL), a criminal street gang. That prosecutors say is behind murder, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, and armed robbery. Now, of course, his defense says why a go gonna walking out, yo. Look at Gunner walking out. Yo, his shorty he with got that 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 the cake. That's that definitely that BBL. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely the BBL action. You know what I mean? That shit is not, don't look like it could be all natural, yo. He coming, going home to that, yo. Cell is not think he about to do to that. And that uh, he, his client is innocent and was not involved in any crime. Now, today's hearing comes one day after rapper Gunna, whose real name is Sergio Kitchens, was released from jail after pleading guilty to the RICO Act violation charge against him. In a statement, Gunna said despite taking the plea, he would not be cooperating with the prosecution. He also... There you go. You have it right there. They he said, made a statement. You want to rewind that for y'all? Those that saying that the I mean, gun is snitching. Look. Gunn has said despite taking the plea, he would not be cooperating with the prosecution. He also made it clear that he had not made any statements, had not been interviewed, and had not cooperated with prosecution. So I mean, I don't know if it, that's actual truthful because the I don't know if it's facts or not. Allegedly, he was talking about he, you know, say he said or did admit that he is gang gang, but you know, what I'm saying uh, now, um, from the sources of Channel Two News, they saying that the uh, Gunner is not working with the prosecution, so. Prosecutors and has no intention of being involved in the trial. Now, I did ask Young Thug's attorney, Brian Steele, what his thoughts were about yesterday's plea and if he thought it would have any impact on his own client's um, trial. And he just told me that he is focused on Young Thug's case. We are live in downtown Atlanta. Michael Seiden, Channel 2 Action News. Okay, Mike, 
There you go. There you have it, man. Straight from Channel 2 News, man. They just said your boy King Sly might be coming home. Gonna got up out of there, and he is not snitching, man. That's that's what that's what they saying. You know, that's what they saying. You already know, man. But with that being said, man, it's your boy T Money makes bucks, man. We live. Leaving the chat, man. You think Gunner snitched or not? You also leave a chat if you think Thug's coming home or not. Also, you know what I'm saying? If you're a new subscriber, um, I'd like you to, you know what I'm saying, join the T-Money family. You know what I mean? Um, the bell will be updated on all notifications. Like and share. You know, and we out.